Okay, so I just received this large cute posket Sailor Moon and I can't wait to go unbox it in a more suitable place. Right now I'm stuck to the wall charging, so we're just gonna open it here and then move down there later. So I already went ahead and cut the tape on the sides so that we can open. Oh. What the fuck? Okay, this is a little weird. It looks like she's come wrapped in some kind of like a mummy casket. What, what do you call that? Like a, like a cardboard sarcophagus. 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 So let's pull it out. I don't know if it's like fully assembled in there or if we're going to have to put it together. It kind of looks almost like they put it together already. Let's... So we've got all this tape here, which is great. So I'm going to have to undo this tape. So, too lazy to go get scissors, so I finally worked the tape off of there. Oh, okay, so she's not put together yet. She is like, as you recall from the other also poorly filmed unboxing of the miniature figure of a similar mold, if not the same. Well, couldn't be the same because her head's fucking gigundo. But, um, yeah, it comes disassembled, and I imagine that we will need the rod to put it together this time just because... Like, she's so top-heavy. Her head looks fabulous. It's very heavy and, like, sturdy. The Odongos, I love how fluffy they are. It just makes you want to pinch them. But they're, like, really hard, so... Maybe they're not that fun to pinch. Um, she still has the weird, creepy, elongated neck thing. Sorry about the lack of footage of me ripping through plastic and putting it together because the iPad ran out. Okay, so I forgot to delete all the videos that I just took off it, and then it cut me off again, but now everything's fine. Unfortunately, you guys also missed me ranting about how beautiful this item is, and how, like, amazed I was with the niceness of it. Wow, amazing! Okay, so I don't see any real, like, paint flaws. I mean, I'm not really a stickler about that, unless she had, like, a big gouge on her head or something, then I'd, like, totally freak out. But she looks pretty okay. In fact, she looks freaking gorgeous. I mean, if you like Sailor Moon, you need to get this figure. She's absolutely just wonderful. And her head spins, which looks really scary like this, but I shouldn't do that. It's making her head... Well, I might as well show you. Check this out. Okay. You just reattach her head. Hold on one second. Who the hell are you? Wait, you're like Hello? I know that you can't see in this shitty lighting, I'm sorry. There's no place I can go right now that has good lighting, so you'll just have to deal with it. Um, this hair, I was expecting to be sparklier because on another YouTube channel, um, the lady said that she had really sparkly hair. It is there, but it's pretty subtle. Um, but it doesn't matter because this figure is fucking awesome and like it just looks so nice. It's the crystal Sailor Moon, you can tell because of the brooch. Which, on the smaller one, which I'll show you, the comparison, I mean, you could tell, I guess, but, like, you didn't really know, because it's, like, so tiny. Um, the, this figure just has really nice detail. Really nice. Um, the only weird, like, I don't think it's a paint defect, I think it's just a molding thing. She has like this crack in her butt. This like little sidewards, like not crack, but like a like a divot, like a line. Let me see if I can get a more intense close-up of that just so you know what the heck I'm talking about. But like who gives a shit? See that thing? Like who cares though? Because like who's looking at her behind? That'd be creepy. Um, okay. I mean, I looked at the whole figure just because I don't know, I'm reviewing it, but uh you don't display her like this. Other than that, there's like nothing weird about it. It's really beautiful. These are kind of transparent. These like little things on her buns. Um, the eyes are really nice. Everything's like very glossy and pretty. Um, yeah, no complaints about the actual figure at all. Now here's where I do have a little bit of a problem with this product. Um, this has happened before. I have trouble putting on the, the stands because the stands just suck. And it's like, you kind of have to do trial and error to figure out where your feet go and where your thing goes, and it's just impossible. So after a lot of frustration, I was finally able to secure her to the thing. Um, and without the use of these shitty uh, hook stand thing, which I hate. 
this thing really sucks. It's totally useless, and it was useless on the small figures as well. The only thing I really don't like is that you actually have to, in order to make it like fit this darn thing, you have to spread her legs out just slightly more than they are naturally, which kind of scares me, but I think it'll be okay. So now I just want to go over aspects of the box because I like to show the box, and that's where I'm going to store the useless, shitty hook claw holder of doom. So the inside of this box is pretty boring. Like I think most of the small crane game or gacha pun ones, they have like designs and just like notices and shit printed in here. That's not the case for this one. But the box itself is, you know, nice design. We have the top um, Toei sticker. I don't know, they come with like, I think the Petite Kara Gacha Pond grab box, blind box was two. This one's three. I don't know if that's a size classification or what the hell that means, but there are different numbers. Maybe I'll look it up and find out what that is. Um, cute pocket stuff I can't read. Um, the front. And you can see, like, the fine details on the printing of the eyeball. Um, it's not that intense on the actual figure. Uh, but, well, actually you can't see it on this crappy lighting. But, uh, yeah, they give you different, like, angles of her. So, that's nice. I have no idea what the hell this perforation is for. Um, I mean, I literally, I don't know what that does. But whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, my suspicion, I was like, oh, maybe it's so you can show the figure inside, but it doesn't come put together, and that would have plastic. It doesn't, that, that doesn't make any sense. Here's the bottom. Sailor Moon, American, uh, looking logo. And you have all your warnings. Make sure your kid doesn't eat the crappy claw hook of doom. Um, don't injure yourself on the sharp points and edges. I mean, it doesn't really have a whole lot of sharp points and edges. I guess, like, don't poke yourself in the eye with her tiny finger. I, I don't know. Nice box, really big box, very exciting to get this box in the mail. She's freaking perfect. Like, um, this this was $17 on Amazon. It was originally like $36 or something like fucking crazy like that. That's why I didn't buy it before because I was like, I'm not paying that much for a figure. But at the current price of this at, you want to snatch this up quick if you want this. And you should want it if you like Sailor Moon because it's absolutely perfect. There's like nothing wrong with it. To stand up pretty good on her own without that crappy thing. Um, so I don't know why they even put it in there, because it sucks, and it sucked on all the other figures. What gives? And I've had them sitting on the same shelf for, like, um, when did I- Like, months, like, like a quarter of a year or more, and they have now fallen down. And it's in a high traffic area. It's not like they've been knocked over by, like, gravity or whatever, or people passing by, they're totally fine. So, I would say, screw that stupid thing. It looks ugly anyways, you don't need it. What was I talking about? Buy this thing on Amazon now, um, because the price will randomly go up, or it could get even cheaper, but I doubt that. Amazon has been doing some weird things with price changes lately. Apparently that's something they've been doing for a while, I guess, but I was not really aware of that. They'll just, like, randomly change the price dramatically on an item and then up it or down it just to, like, I don't know, do metrics on what sells the most. It's totally stupid. They had, um, Sailor Moon Short Stories 2. It was, like, five-something. The next day, it was $10.99. So, um, if you, like, troll the Amazon section of Sailor Moon like I do because I'm always looking to buy stuff I don't need, um, you'll see these random price fluctuations. Oh, I'm getting some of that weird, like, kickback from the fan where it makes your voice go like, Ugh. Um, I'll have to turn it off and suffer. What was I saying again? Okay, all the Sailor Moon figures are so freaking overpriced. This one's actually worth the $17, in my mind, because this is really big. It's flawless. Don't buy a shitty Funko Pop for eight, whatever. That is bullshit. Get this one. Because this one's not fugly. Funko Pops are so ugly. And that's the only one you can get for $8.99. I'm like, no. Quite a difference there. Um, Get the little one if you can only get the little one, but get the big one if you can get the big one, obviously, because the big one is fucking awesome. And this is painted. This is transparent. Like, this, this one, obviously, is so small, they didn't put as many details. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a size comparison with all of the figures that I have. 
so you can just see how big this one is. I know they're not even because they're like on the bed right now, but whatever, just deal with it. Jupiter's kind of experiencing some earthquake or some kind of tectonic plate lifting over there, but you can see, look at the size of the big ass one. It's fucking awesome, dude. Okay, the Madhouse Petikara, no offense, not worth the money. I got those blind box things that I do the video for $10.99, and okay, so I like having the two I have now, and like, okay, hang in there, Jupiter. Um, I like having the ones I have now because I was gonna buy them anyways, but I wouldn't buy them again. Look how freaking tiny she is. I think I will like the more now that I have this lineup, put her in the middle. I was thinking about styling it so that she was like ominously standing in the back of all these figures looming over them like Godzilla. Sailor Moon is the monster of the week. Oh, Chibiusa, we've lost her. I do like the petite car ones I have. I'm not like saying like, ooh, they suck or something. Sailor Moon stuff, you can't win. Bandai wants you to be broke. They're gonna take all your money. I was really very thankful that I got Usagi and Chibiusa because they're my favorites. I know that people are like, I don't like Chibiusa. It's like, well, um, I do, so deal with it. She's actually great, so you know what? That's fine. Just save all the Chibiusa merchandise for me. There's not a lot of Chibiusa merchandise, and it's all you people's fault. I like Jupiter. I like them all, even Ray, who's annoying. Stay. This was a video about this fabulous cute posket. I think she's gonna stand just fine. Right now she's kind of resting on that box, but I think she's gonna be fine.